But here we go with uh, lesson number 247 uh, of how to do a wedding like a boss. Uh, so here, here's some footage, some fa fantastic footage, a lot of little time lapse things, some drone footage and whatnot. But you know, the one thing that this thing is missing is that, uh, that all important cake cutting. Okay. So that's a very important thing is to get a good cake cut and be there, uh, during, during the time in which they, uh, feed one another. And so here we are at the cake cutting. Now for this particular couple, uh, they wanted to do things a little bit different. So, so it's important to be, it's important to get a nice close up, uh, maybe a two camera setup. So you can get some of these, uh, you can get kind of like this angle. But meanwhile, while I'm taking uh, this footage, I'm also operating another camera that's got a close up on, on their mouths their lips, uh, their mm, oral labia, oral labia, is that right? No, I may, that may be very wrong, but that's very wrong. Okay, so here we go. We want some close-up shots like this close-up shot. Look at that. It's kind of beautiful. It's kind of beautiful. It uh, changes it up. It, it cuts up the monotony <clears throat> of one particular angle. And sometimes when we can get some angles that um, the humans don't quite ever see. Like you never put your face up uh, this close to the knife. So you'd actually never get to see this opportunity right here where where this particular couple, instead of, instead of consuming, they wanted to unconsume. They wanted to kind of go against the, the mold um, because marriage is not, marriage is more of giving and it's, and it's less of consuming. So you give and then you just inadvertently receive because that's the way it is. And if you haven't been here, uh, we've got the Golden Khaleesi here. So if you look at some of our past episodes, you'll see why the hell that's even there. But but we want to... So, so he's chewed up the food a little bit. And now he's going to go ahead and put it back on the fork. Because he's a giver. Because he wants to give his all. And one of the easiest things to give is what's ever in your mouth. I mean, if you wanted to give cells or body parts, it's going to be something a little bit different. Uh, he's giving a little bit of spit too. So it's a little bit of him. It's a little bit of him. We've got some DNA. we got some enzymes. We could do uh, uh, an ancestry check. We could do like a, your heritage. Where are you from? Uh, so he's giving a lot. He's giving his entire, um, his entire lineage right there giving his entire lineage and in return yep so she's she's pleasantly surprised now definitely don't don't want to eat that so she's been chewing on food and she too is going to respond in kind and and give a give her lineage right there you see that see nice that's that's pretty awesome. And then these two pieces here. Let's see if we can get a zoom in on that. Now going a little against tradition, but also uh, sticking to traditional weddings. Uh, these are the pieces of cake that they will actually keep for one year in the freezer and then consume them uh, on their year anniversary. Um, because they've it's like a bank. So you've put in your money, you've got that interest, you've built up that wealth, that relationship wealth. And then now, you know, now it's time to seek some of the rewards. Um, so yeah. So I just wanted to let you guys know that sometimes things don't go according to plan and you have to roll with the punches right here. So the, so these two, this couple are a bunch of givers. There you go. Okay. I wish you guys would all subscribe, comment, like, share, and, uh, I don't know, be my, be my love, be my sweetie. All right. I'm out.